Our first test shot was in an open field here. So what we did is we flipped those receivers over for five seconds. And then when we put them in the stand, we started the timer and waited to see how long it would take to reacquire their fixed solutions. The hemisphere fixed first at 5.4 seconds and the Trimble followed shortly behind at 6.8 seconds and both displayed good residuals on their fixed solutions, something that is easily usable in the field here. The next shot here was our first real test of the day. So we decided to test under this big poplar tree because it has these nice big broad green leaves that are gonna eat up a lot of our satellite signals. And again, what we decided to do was we wanted to make sure we lost that satellite lock, lost that fixed solution. And then when we got back to the stand, we wanted to flip the receiver over and then see how long it took to reacquire its position and its fixed solution. So again, we just decided to wait and see how long this would uh, this would take to occur. And the hemisphere fixed in about 14.9 seconds. And the Trimble, it just never got to the point of a fixed solution. It would keep working on its solution. You could see the residuals coming down, but it was just never able to really get below that half meter range that you can see here in the video. The next shot here is a typical building style shot. So we have this eave here that's gonna be blocking out part of our sky directly above the receiver. And then the wall of the building is blocking out the western portion of our sky. And again, what we did is we flipped that receiver over, walked it in just above the ground to make sure it couldn't get any satellites before it got to its position. And then when we reached there, we flipped it over and placed it in the stand to see how long each one would take to fix. So the Hemisphere S631 fixed in 21 seconds. And you can see here, we got a nice tight solution with the residuals. Uh, exactly where you would want them. And again, the Trimble R10, it just wasn't able to get a fixed solution. We waited and we waited, but at two and a half minutes, we decided to call it again because the residuals just weren't getting better than half a meter and it wasn't anything we could uh, really use to survey with. This was arguably the toughest shot of the day with some pines that were running at about five, six stories tall. They were fully grown. They were coating out most of the sky. We had some power lines in behind us. And what we did again was we flipped that antenna over, made sure we lost lock, walked it in. And when we re reached the stand, as we have been doing for the rest of this video, we flipped it over, placed it in the stand and waited to see how long it would take to fix. So this one took a bit longer than our other shots just because we're in such a difficult environment but again 24 seconds that's all it took to get that fixed solution you can see here we got a nice fix on field genius android with some very good residuals as well and we waited and waited but we just again couldn't get a fixed solution with that trimble r10 in that environment and that leads us to our final shot of the day here up against a two-story building that takes out our southern half of the sky so that's important especially up here in canada because most of our satellites are in the south so if we can get a receiver that fixes up against this southern wall we're always very impressed and again the hemisphere s631 was able to pull it off in only 29 seconds so just under 30 seconds to get arguably one of the most difficult shots you can get up here in Canada and again we waited for that Trimble to see if it would fix we waited and we waited to see if it would get anything and it just wasn't going to get any better than what we saw the residuals just weren't coming down anymore and again we were stuck at that half meter accuracy and that is everything for today's video and if you want to see the hemisphere s631 go to head to head with a specific receiver drop us a comment down below and hopefully we can get that in to show you what kind of difference you can get with a hemisphere receiver but if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about the Hemisphere S631 or Microsurveys Field Genius, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.